Hi, I'm Ashley from Sunny Made, and today we are going to work on a Jacob's Ladder quilt. All right, we got done with our sampler quilt. You know how to do lots of things. So I thought we'd go into um, an easier pattern using some of the techniques that we've already used. Um, so this quilt block is called a Jacob's Ladder. And we're putting together six half square triangles and four, uh, four patches. And we're gonna put them together and then we're gonna make this beautiful quilt. Um, so these are things you've learned. I will link um, into the description how to do these specific ones we're doing that will go into more detail, but I am gonna cover the basics. Okay, this time we are going to do a full quilt in four weeks. Week one, we are going to sew our half square triangles. Um, we're going to use the eight at a time method. Second, we're going to cut them and trim them. Get them all put, trimmed to their correct size. Three, week three, we are going to make our four patches. I'm going to actually show you a different way to make our four patches this time than just a basic one, two, three, four squares. And I'll go into detail during that video. And then fourth week, I'm going to show you how to put your block together, and then we're gonna sew it all together and you will have a whole quilt. I don't want you to feel like this is overwhelming. That's why we're taking four weeks. If it takes you more than four weeks, that's no big deal. So, um, I am using this, what is called a layer cake. This is a 10 inch square. These are all 10 inch squares. It has a fabric, it's of a fabric line. So there are lots of different um, fabrics in this. So for materials, you're gonna need a layer cake or 10 inch squares. There are 42 in here. We're gonna use, I believe all of them. So make sure you have 42. You also need a background fabric. There's two ways you can do this. You can use a 10 inch square of a solid color or you can buy yardage. Um, I'm going to use this beautiful blue, uh, and this, if you're using yardage, I believe I figured it out to be three and a half yards. I will have a paper, um, a PDF in the description so you know exactly how much you need of each thing. The other thing you'll need, pins, rotary cutter, and of course, our favorite rulers. So first things first, we are going to take, I have a little cheat sheet, hold on. For six half square triangles, we are going to need to take 27 of our different prints and we're gonna turn them into half square triangles. We are doing eight at a time half square triangles. Once again, I will link to my eight at a time half square triangles in the description, but, so you wanna start, you wanna figure out which eight you want. Then, if you have yardage, we are going to turn it into, you guessed it, 10 inches. I realized that when I filmed this many months back that there was a few steps I kinda of forgot, so I'm gonna insert in a few updated steps so you can see what's going on and you can follow along. Okay, with your solid background fabric, you're either going to have your squares that are already pre cut to 10 inches or you're going to have yardage. I am using yardage in this particular one because it's easier for me to get at my local quilt store. So, what I'm going to do is take my yardage. And I'm going to cut it into 10 inch strips 
by width of fabric. And then I'm going to take those 10 inch strips and cut it down into 10 inch squares. So at this point, you should have your layer cake and you should have 10 inch squares of your background fabric for the eight at a time half square triangles that we are making in this step. You need to have 27 of each, 27 pattern, 27 of the background fabric. So if you do need to cut up your background fabric, that's okay. You, you need to do that before we can move on to making the half square triangles. Okay. You're gonna pick out 27. Yep, had to check my paper again. 27 of these. Okay, you're gonna take a solid and then put your 10 inch square right over the top of it. They're just gonna line up pattern side down or right sides together. Okay, we are using the eight at a time half square triangles. We're gonna take our ruler, we're gonna go corner to corner Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pin them so they don't move on me. These are actually really big squares to use, so that's why I'm going to do that. Corner to corner, you're drawing a line. Okay. Other corner, corner to corner, you're drawing another line. Okay, we're going to do that for 27 prints and solids. We are then going to sew a quarter inch down each side of the marked lines that, um, that we just drew. Okay, this is how I usually make my quilts. I will put together my half square triangles that I need to sew. I will stack them all up, take the whole stack to my sewing machine and do them all at the same time. Now, I usually use white, but because I have a darker background, I will probably use a blue color if you wanna make it a fun background. So I will put together 28 sandwiches, pattern and solid, draw the straight line, from corner to corner and then sew down each corner to corner and do those all at one time. All right, let's get you a close-up of how we're gonna do these half square triangles. So we have our background fabric. It is facing up towards us. We're gonna put our um, pattern fabric and it is facing down. So right sides together i'm going to pin them so that they don't move okay then we are going to take our ruler and we are going to draw a line corner to corner let me scoot this down so you can see it Um, what's cool about this pin, it is a pilot fric friction. What's cool about this pin is that you draw on your fabric and then once you iron it, the heat actually removes it from um, the fabric. So you won't see your lines anymore. Isn't that kind of cool? Okay. So we drew a line, corner to corner. Now we are going to take it and we're gonna do a quarter inch on each side of this, of both sets of lines. I am using, because I'm using a dark background, I'm going to be using a navy fabric or a navy thread on it. Okay, I'm using here a quarter inch foot. So if I run my foot, this part of my foot right along my line, it's gonna give me that perfect quarter inch that I need. So I'm going to 
So along one side. Pick up my foot, flip it around. And then sew down my other side. Now at this point, I could take out my pins, but I'm not gonna worry about it yet. And then we're gonna do that exact thing down the opposite diagonals. Okay, so when we're done here, we have a quarter inch on each side of that line. Okay, so by the time you get done this week, you should have a whole stack of your 10 inch squares. They're gonna be sewn in both directions. See how that is? Um, this is our stack. And get these done this week, and next week we're gonna chop them up and trim them. Okay, just this week you're gonna be making your half square triangles. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I would love to answer them. I will link, once again, to my video that goes into in depth more about making eight at a time half square triangles. We are just doing the sewing this week. You're drawing the line and you're sewing. That's all you have to do this week. So, this is going to be a super fun quilt. I'm excited to be doing it with you. And make sure you like and subscribe so you can see the next video when I release it. Now, show and tell time. What am I working on right now? It is Christmas time. I have a quilt. It's at my feet. That's why I keep looking down. I have a quilt I've been working on for my in-laws for a couple of years. Originally, they were supposed to be going on a mission to Ukraine for our church and with the Ukrainian war and well first COVID then the Ukrainian war It's been a big mess and they haven't been able to do it And so this was actually supposed to be a coming home. Your guys are awesome Quilt and I finally decided since it's not working out. I should go ahead and finish it So this is the quilt I'm working on it is a massive quilt um, I just got the top done yesterday and I put it on the long arm today, but I didn't have enough time, so it didn't get finished. So I'm going back tomorrow to put it back on the long arm, get it all finished. So it's a lovely red and cream colored quilt, and I'm actually excited to get it to them. The blocks are beautiful. This one right here, I had to make several of them. I think there's 12 maybe 14 i think there might you know 16 might be 16 but i love this block i think it's beautiful it's a medallion so it has a fun center when i get it all done i'll make sure and take more videos so you can see it other than that i want to see what you guys are working on it's christmas time do you have any christmas presents you're working on trying to get finished up i would love to see it uh, you can find me at Ashley underscore Sunny Maid over on Instagram. Tag me in your posts. I would love to see them. And other than that, I hope you have a good holiday this week. If you're in the U.S., we are celebrating Thanksgiving, um, which is why I'm trying to get my quilt all done so I can take it to them because we always go for Thanksgiving. And I hope you have a good week. And I will see you next week. Happy sewing.